Hello everybody, it is I, Miss Courtney and Olivia. Um, so people have been requesting um, a video about how I make videos and how I record videos and what I use. And I did actually uh, record a video a while ago explaining this, but I feel like since there's so many people still asking me that I would kind of do a update um, video on this so that way you guys uh, know you know exactly what um, you're going to do for this so um, the first things first I use hypercam as you can see here here's hypercam it tells me it's recording right now because it is um, so what you need to do first is you need to go to Google this is my puppy um, and type in hypercam now they just actually released a uh, new one I think it was like 3.4 or something. Uh, where is it? I think it's this one. You go to this one. Um, I think. Yeah, okay. So you're gonna, it's a different page, which is kind of strange. Um, so you're gonna do there, so I'm gonna go back again. You pick this link. You type in Hypercam. Don't do Hypercam 3. That one's really strange. I don't know how to work that one. Oops. And you're gonna pick the second option here. And you're going to be taken to this page. If not, just go to hyperionics.com. And then it says, download version 2 now free. Um, don't do version 3. I don't know how to use version 3. If you guys know how to use version 3, like, really well and you want to use that, go ahead and use that. Um, but I use version 2, so you just click download. Now it's going to download here, but I'm not going to do that because I don't need it. So that's, that's just going to take you through the steps of uh, Hypercam. So now you guys kind of know this, and yes, my background changes, Rainbow Dash, I love Rainbow Dash. Um, you're going to be taken to a screen like this. Now if this is not the screen that you have right now, you probably have Hypercam 3 or something else. Um, I'm sorry if you don't know what that is, but I'm sure there's tons of tutorials online explaining how you how you use it properly and all that. But for right now, I'm using Hypercam version 2. Um, now to start your videos, so I'm gonna open up, uh, well, no I'm not. I'm not gonna open up Windows. Okay, so if you wanna re like record a section of the video, so what I usually do for my Wizard101 videos is I, um, I open up Wizards here, and it's, you know what, I'm just gonna show you. I don't even care if you see my username and all that. So I'm going to open up this, I'm going to type in my password, which you guys should not know, um, and it's going to load or whatever. And usually I just found out this cool new thing where I can get my videos basically pretty much across the entire screen, uh, as in like instead of being in the weird boxy formation, it's kind of in a long elongated version. Um, so this is going to load for me here. I don't know why there's this weird white box up here now. It's kind of strange, but whatever. Alright, so when you do that, you want to go to Options and change your resolution to 1280 by 600 and then turn off full screen, otherwise you cannot uh, record your things properly. So see how it makes it this weird elongated version? This actually, when you start recording it and you put it onto Windows Live Movie Maker or whatever thing you use, it's actually going to make it elongated which is kind of nice. So what you do for this is when you want to do this, I'm not going to do it now because it would screw up the thing I'm doing right now, um, but you would so click select window and it comes up with this weird boxy thing around this and you just click on this box so you just go like click window and then click this and then it should have it on there. That does not mean that it has started recording yet, there's still a lot more to talk about with that. Um, Make sure that it shows the rectangle around the recorded area. That way you know it's recording. There's this area right here that you can't see, but there is like a red line going down, so I know I'm recording it. You can also make the rectangle blink so it's more obvious. Um, your viewers or whoever's watching your video isn't going to notice this line and blinkingness and stuff. Um, leave Hypercam window open. Unclick this. I'm just doing this now to show you guys what I'm doing. 
Um, also, you can put your hypercam window on down here to the taskbar if you want to. Um, it doesn't really matter what you do to it. Um, when I'm recording, though, I hide the hypercam window. So when I click the hotkey to record, it'll go down and you guys won't see the hypercam window. Um, I don't really know what this one means, but it was on here already, so I just left it there. Um, obviously, I guess if you have a, a, a really slow, laggy laptop or computer, I suggest maybe turning it off. Because it does say it may slow down performance. However, I do have an i5 core processor, so it's okay. And it doesn't really slow down my performance. So, that's the basics of this. You can also select the region, but I don't do that because that's complicated. Okay, so now the hotkeys. Hotkeys are quite important. Um, so, to start and stop recording when you're selected in your box, like this box, I will click F2. So that's how I start it, and that's how I end it. Um, to pause the recording, which is what I do a lot, like if I'm in a battle and it's taking too long to get the stuff I need, I click F3. And to resume it again, I click F3. Um, a single frame shot means to take a picture, so if I want to take a picture, I can click F4. You can change these. Um, obviously it's not letting me do it right now because I am recording with it, so... But you can click on this and you can change your um, keys if you so want to. Uh, pan the capture area when the mouse is moved and following keys are pressed. I do not know what this means. Uh, I really don't know what that means. So just ignore that. Keep it to what it's at. I, I don't use it, really. Okay, so AVF file. So this is where your recordings are going to go. Um, so right now, they're in my computer user's Courtney documents folder. Obviously, it's under Wisteria, which I have to change that. Um, you can also change this every time. You can put in your documents, you can put it in your desktop, you can change it. Um, you can just you just open output folder and it changes. I can't do it now because I'm recording as usual. And then make sure you add a sequential number to the file name because that way you know which number is, you know, like if you have one, two, three, it kind of helps if you're doing walkthroughs and stuff like that. Okay, now this is the question I get a ton is... How do you make it stop going so fast? It goes so fast. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know. I don't know why that my audio is off and everything's just messed up. Um, it's your frame rate. So you have frames per second, which records um, your audio and it records your movement in the game sequentially. So they're kind of you know on the same page. Um, I put mine on eight. Now it may be different for you people. Um, but for me, if I put 8 and 8, it's, it's pretty much spot on. Um, it could be different for your guys' computer because your computers could be having a different processor, it could be running slower, it could be going too fast. Um, just, just check and see which one works for you. It took me a long time to figure out my frame rate, um, but once you get it down, it pretty much doesn't change. You don't have to change this. I mean, if you do want it to go slower eventually, you can go to 7 or 6 or 5. If you want it to go fast, go nine or ten. Um, I don't think it. I don't think you can go over eleven. I don't think. I mean, I don't think you can go over ten. I'm not sure if you can or not. Um, but mine's just at eight. So just just test yours and, and see what it does. I'm obviously not going to help you with that because I can't really. But it's not that hard to figure out. All right. So cursor full frame capture ratio. I have no idea what that means, but I just kept it at one to capture every frame. So I guess that means it captures every movement. I think that's what it means. So like right now, it's probably capturing this. Pretty good. It's capturing every frame. It's capturing these guys moving and all that fun stuff. Uh, Keyframe every 100 frames. I don't know really what that means either. Just leave it at what it is. I didn't change this stuff. I just changed this and this. Um, make sure your video compressor is on. Strongly recommended. If it's not, put it on it. I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Um, frame compression quality. I don't know what that is either, so just leave that there. Limit screen capture to max 424 bits, whatever. I That's off for me, I guess. I don't know. Just leave it off. I mean, you guys can play around with this, you know. Okay. Another question I get a lot. My sound isn't working. Why isn't my microphone working? First things first, people. You gotta make sure you have a microphone on your laptop or connected to your laptop or on your desktop computer, you gotta make sure you have one. If you don't have one, it's not gonna work. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's not working. It's probably because you don't have a microphone. 
I have done this a couple times though. I have um, thought I was recording and then I realized my laptop didn't have a microphone. So it kind of sucked. Um, if you do have a microphone that, and if you're on a laptop it will say integrated microphone. If your um, laptop has one of these and it says microphone high definition auditory blah 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 you want to put that on it because it captures it better I think anyway um, but I mean if you have another microphone that's like another another brand or whatever you just drop down this menu and it uh, it records the sound hopefully and make sure you check this box or else you can't record sound so if you don't want to record sound you can unclick this box um, number of channels two stereo make sure you do two stereo so you have the audio in the game running and you have yourself talking. Um, I think the other one is something else. I don't remember the other one. is mono or something. I don't remember. Um, sample size 16-bit. That's just been there. Sample rate's been there. These are I haven't changed these. I just leave those there. Options. Um, if you want to record your cursor, so like I'm recording my cursor in the game right now, so do 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 do. Click that button. You can also add a starburst to the movie. So like I guess when I click something, it'll be weird looking. I don't know. I haven't used that. Um, mouse click volume is all the way down, even though you can still hear it. You know, what can you do with that? You can't really do much with that. And, of course, we have the license. Uh, stuff, which you obviously don't need to really worry about. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You can also use the buttons down here, but you're gonna get the hypercam window when you're recording, if you're recording the entire page, or your entire screen. That's kind of not what you want. Um, so that's why I use the hotkeys to start and stop and all that fun stuff. Oh, I think that was pretty much what I wanted to get down. I hope you guys understand this. Um, if it's not working, really, I don't know what to tell you because this works for me and it works for a lot of my friends that use it too. So, I mean, maybe look it up online of why it's not working. I obviously, um, I don't know everything. I can't help everyone. Uh, I wish I could, but I can't. Um, but if you do have questions that are somewhat simple to this, um, let me know in the comments below. And maybe I will get back to you. I don't know. I have a busy life, as you all know. Um, and thank you to Austin for letting me know to do another one of these videos. Because a lot of people have been asking me about this still. Even though I did do a video, like, a year ago. It's still, I guess it didn't get that many views and not many people saw it. So hopefully you guys can see this, this video. And... It helped some of you guys. I hope it did. Um, so yeah, leave your comments down below if you need any help. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.